Hi everyone! Today is just a quick video update on one of our previous episodes from last season, what kind of karate is in Cobra Kai. Actually, we did three episodes on this topic. Yes, I am that nerdy enough, leave me alone. But in the first two episodes, we broke down an analysis and tried to determine the arts that we felt were represented in Miyagi-Do Karate and Cobra Kai Dojo. Now, we had an outpouring of opinions and suggestions, but in the end, we determined to our best guess based on the evidence presented to us that Miyagi-Do was Gojiru Karate and that Cobra Kai was Tang Sudo, or at least some version of these arts. And just for fun, the third episode examined some of the other characters that were in the show as well. Now, we have links for you in the description below if you have not seen those episodes. I recommend checking them out. Now, the call Miyagi-Do Gojuru was a little bit easier, primarily because the history that Mr. Miyagi gives Daniel matches the origin of the art. The screenwriter, Robert Mark Kamen, based a lot of the movie on his own personal life, and he was a student of the art. And also the Goju Kai patch is seen on the geese in the second movie on, on Chosen's uniforms. And in season two of Cobra Kai, they actually directly show us the founder of Gojuru, Chojin Miyagi, who Mr. Miyagi was named after. Now, Cobra Kai was a little tougher and had less to go on. In Karate Kid 3, Terry Silver tells Daniel and Miyagi that their teacher is Korean. And their techniques involve a lot of high kicks, common with the Korean arts. And if you watch videos with Tang Sudo moves, a lot of them are incredibly similar to what you see in a tournament in the first film. So we deduced that Cobra Kai was Tang Sudo, or at least had Tang Sudo in his mix. Now, I also had some questions to try to figure out some other clues. One of them was identifying the pictures on the wall by the front door. Another was identifying the photo up above the mirror, typically where photos of masters or grandmasters are displayed. And finally, the kata that Terry Silver was performing when Daniel entered the school. Being the awesome audience that you are, the first question regarding the photos by the front door was answered within an hour of the video's release. I had several of you reach out to me to identify the man in the photos as Taekwondo master Jun Chong. This would make a lot of sense as the filming location of the dojo took place in a real life Taekwondo school, specifically Jun Chong school. So most likely all the decor on the walls was left in place to save either on set dressing or to disrupt the school, disrupt the school as little as possible or honestly a mixture of both. Now I've also had people suggest that the photo up above the mirror might be Jun Chong as well, but I've still yet to find a photo that actually matches it for sure. If anyone from Jun Chong school is watching, I would love to hear your input. Now the reason for this update, I was unable to find Terry Silver's kata anywhere. I searched videos on Korean arts and I found some that were similar, but nothing exactly like he performs in the film. The closest I could find was Choreo, which had a lot of the same steps, but it still wasn't quite the same as what he was doing. I also received many messages that it was likely just him doing freestyle movements and to warm up and not really a kata, or maybe it was just a fictional kata. Honestly, I had submitted and I went with this because I wasn't able to find any concrete results. Then recently, one of you guys pulled through and it seems that you cracked the case. I would like to thank one of our viewers, Adonis Ruiz, for his detective work. He sent me a tournament clip of a Taekwondo demo team performing choreo, and it looked almost exactly like what we saw in the film. But why did it look different than all the other clips I had seen? Well, upon closer inspection, the demo team is a Taekwondo school, specifically Jun Chung's Taekwondo. The same owner of the Cobra Kai Dojo location. Not only that, it was pointed out to me that actor Thomas Ian Griffith, who plays Terry Silver, was actually a student of Jun Chong. So it seems that Jun Chong teaches his own version of choreo that differs from what is commonly found, and this answers the question and shows that Terry Silver is doing a kata after all. Now, does this suggest that Cobra Kai has Taekwondo in it, in its mix, or is it really just circumstantial with the real life location? Either way, I extend a big thank you to Mr. Ruiz. You out karate kidded me on this one. Well played. So that's it in a nutshell. I just wanted to provide a quick little update and thank you guys for being as awesome as you are and as interactive as you are. So please go check out our Cobra Kai episodes if you haven't seen them yet and subscribe to our channel and click on the little bell so that way you can see if we drop a fourth Cobra Kai episode providing season three turns out to be good enough to talk about or bad enough. So like, subscribe, join us on Patreon and we'll see you next time.